Lifting up Jesus and opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. We have to understand the nature of artificial intelligence, first of all. Up to this point, that intelligence, which is cyber intelligence that we call artificial intelligence, um, is still under human control. It is not extraneous to human operation. Let's look at some of the things that have happened. During the Reagan administration, when they had the Black Friday, there was massive analysis by computers of trends in securities markets globally, and the computers began issuing sell orders that sent the stock market, the Dow, through the basement. If you remember, that happened in October, uh, uh, the third, I think it was the 13th of, of, of this Black Friday. And it was absolutely incredible what happened because it was triggered by sell orders, not issued by stockbrokers or by their clients, but by computers who analyze markets and were managed, the computers were in part managing investment portfolios and hedge funds. That's how it happened. Uh, but it was still ultimately something that people controlled, sort of like putting a dishwasher on cycle or a washing machine on cycle. It'll do it without any human input, but it still required a human to flick the switch to begin with. Now, other examples are coming into play in the cyber world that will greatly enhance search engines. For instance, at present, things like Google or Yahoo or something like this or Bing can only recognize words or word patterns. That's all they can recognize. You could be looking at two different things. For instance, you could put in a web search question on, on Google and ask about Washington crossing the Delaware, okay? It'll recognize the word Delaware. And you'll see there'll be historical websites about the event of George Washington crossing the Delaware to attack Trenton, New Jersey. But you'll also get things about how far is the Delaware River from Washington, New Jersey, or from Washington, D.C.? It'll all come up. A computer can only recognize words. What's going to happen with artificial intelligence is a computer is going to identify what you mean with your mind and only focus the web searches on what you're specifically interested in. It won't bring in other websites not concerned with your specific question, as if the computer can clarify what you mean. Up to this point, it's things like that. It's still under human control. But what happened with that Black Friday um, during the Reagan administration was without doubt a harbinger of what is to come when machines can actually take over. Now, all of this kind of technology, as we've said before, anything that can be used for good will be used for evil by fallen man. It's not that the science is wrong or the technology is wrong. It's that man has fallen and the world is in the power of the wicked one. Anything fallen man can use for evil, he will because of the influence of Satan and the fallen nature of the homotosphere, the world and, and the old nature. Radioisotopes can be used to treat cancer, to bombard cancerous tissue. They can, But that same kind of nuclear technology can also be made to manufactured dirt bombs that terrorists are trying to acquire to attack cities. Um, this is just the reality. Whatever man can use for evil, he will. The problem is not the technology itself. The problem is the way the technology will be used. Now, as we've explained elsewhere, what is highly frightening is biogenetic engineering when it finally gets out of control. The scripture warns against mixing the seed. We've warned about the procreation of demonoids. 
that some of these monsters you see in the book of Revelation, which are indeed symbolic of political entities and so forth, some of these creatures may be real, chimeras, things of this nature. We read about this in Josephus uh, in Antiquities of the Jews, where you had these nefarious flying dragon type creatures and things like this in ancient Egypt in the days of Moses. Well, somehow it's not unthinkable that biogenetic engineering in the hands of fallen man in the kingdom of Antichrist will see the spawning of demonoids and, uh, and of demonized monstrosities that come about through the misuse of biogenetic engineering. Is the biogenetic engineering wrong? No, if you can take healthy uh, tissue uh, from someone's pancreas, pancreatic tissue, and clone it and implant it into a diabetes patient to make insulin and cure that person's diabetes, that would be good. The problem is the same technology can and will be used for evil, like anything else throughout man's history. Well, this will likewise ultimately be true of artificial intelligence. It is not unlikely that an advanced form of artificial intelligence will come into play with the image of the beast. For generations, people have begun to say it could be some kind of a robot with a computerized brain. People have been saying that for over 100 years already. Um, even before computer technology existed, people were speculating it could be some kind of a mechanical man. Before robotics were computerized, people began speculating about that. Well, it's easy to see how that can happen. The counterfeit of the resurrection by Antichrist and the image of the beast, these two things can in part be facilitated by advanced human technology being demonically orchestrated in the way it's applied and used. To understand this, again, we have to go back to the Tower of Babel and to the fall of man in the garden. If fallen man had been able to eat of the tree of life, they would have lived eternally in sin. God could not allow it until sin was dealt with. So too with Babel. Now nothing will be impossible for them. We have to remember we are made in God's image and likeness. We are imagio dei beings. We have divine properties in us, not that we are gods, but we have components that reflect God and allow us to focus to, or to function, as it were, in a surrogate fashion of God, like all the creatures were to be subject to Adam. Well, man becomes a surrogate God to the animal world. But God is the ultimate creator, of course. What's going to happen is the Antichrist and fallen man will seek to usurp the position of God Almighty, the creator. Uh, ultimately, we don't need him. We're going to be God. But of course, it'll be Satan who's worshipped. Now, again, technology is moving in this direction. We began warning about this over 20 years ago on our teaching, just as it was in the days of Noah, just as it was in the days of Noah. As I've explained many times, with the Enlightenment, you had a separation of science and the occult. In the ancient world, the Greek world, astronomy and astrology were the same thing. But with the Enlightenment, astronomy went one way, astrology went the other. Healing arts, folk medicine went one way. Medicine, medical science, and pharmacology went the other way. Chemistry and physics went one way. Uh, alchemy and magic went the other. But before the Enlightenment, chemistry, changes in, in properties of matter, that was seen as magic. It was all alchemy. Astronomy and astrology were the same things. Um, folk medicine and, 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 and soup medicine based on superstition and charms and fetishes and things like this or what's today known in Africa as muti, sold by witch doctors, it was the same as medical science. These things separated. But as I've said repeatedly, in the last 25 years, we are seeing a rapprochement between science and the occult. You're seeing it particularly in holistic medicine, computer video graphics and things like holography, and particle physics. 
we are going to see more and more and more of this. We are also going to see it in biogenetic engineering, where people will attempt to facilitate, engineer, cause reincarnation by cloning, combined with things perhaps like gestalt therapy. It's not unfathomable. It's not science fiction anymore. It's just science. We are seeing a rapprochement between science and the occult, the reversal of what happened in the Enlightenment. Now, artificial intelligence will have a major role in this trend, ultimately. All of these things ultimately point to the counterfeit of the resurrection by Antichrist and the image of the beast. Well, certainly knowledge will increase, but the idea that knowledge can increase has been interpreted different ways. Some have interpreted it to mean that knowledge of the scripture will increase by the faithful church, not just the knowledge of man will increase. I take it to mean both. I take it to mean spiritual knowledge will increase for the faithful people of God as the veil goes up. Um, but I also take it to mean that the volume of human knowledge is increasing exponentially. Like every two years, it more than doubles. Uh, it quadruples within five years. And it's getting, not only that, but the rate at which it's increasing is increasing. So I do think it does relate to that verse, yes. Although there is more to that verse than the, the, the mere arsenal of, of, of human uh, intelligence and human knowledge, human data. It is a complicated issue. The best we can do is refer you to two things. One is our original base teaching on this subject, just as it was in the days of Noah. And the other is some of the material concerning the Antichrist, the false prophet, and the image of the beast found in the book Shadows of the Beast, available through Moriel, Amazon, Kendall, etc. Once again, thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Hello.